The array includes method in JavaScript allows you to check whether or not an array includes a value, okay? It's gonna give you a true or false as your return type, making it really easy to read and follow along in your code in comparison to something such as index of and checking for negative ones and things like that. So I've got a list of numbers here, one, four, nine, 16, et cetera. Let's check if 25 is part of that array. I'll say console.log, then provide here, numbers okay dot includes 25 what are we going to get well of course we're going to get true run the script and yes we get true right there now what if i put this in double quotes making it a string version of 25 instead what are we going to get well we actually get false because includes is not gonna be friendly with your types. It's not gonna let you compare numbers and strings. You need to make sure you provide the correct data type when you're searching using array includes here. Now you can also provide a second argument to say where to start searching from. Okay, as an example, let's put this back to be 25 as a number. Then we're gonna say, let's start searching from index four. Okay, now because, uh, you know, you have zero, one, two, three, and four as the indexes, okay? Because index four is 25, we're gonna see true here. It's gonna be inclusive because this includes search now only looks from index four, so 25 and onwards. So you've got these four to choose from. Yes, 25 is in that list. If I also say three, it's gonna be 16 and then the rest of them. So again, we get true. If I say five, as you might expect, we're gonna get false because of course 25 is not in this subset of 36, 49 and 64. Now you can also provide negative indexes here, okay? So you can do something such as negative five, okay? Because 64 is negative one. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. 16 to 64 is gonna be the search subset. We're gonna get true. If I say negative one, negative two, negative three, negative three here, try again and we get false. So that is your array includes. And that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.